So who's suitable for an implantable contact lens? Now, an ICL, or implantable contact lens, is an additional lens that we add to the eye. It is uh, made of a collimer, very, very soft, beautiful um, bioaffinity material that will sit elegantly in front of the natural human crystalline lens and behind the iris, behind the colour part of the eye. So the patient looks the same as they always have done, no one can see they've had anything done, but essentially we've taken their prescription and instead of resting a contact lens on the front of the eye, we've been able to place that contact lens inside their eye. So there are some criteria we're after. There needs to be physical space in the eye to accommodate the lens. So there are some patients where the front chamber of the eye where we need to sit this lens is just a little too shallow, a little too crowded. There are some patients where the refractive error just is not ideal for an ICL. So in general, our patients who have smaller refractive errors, we want to do corneal laser refractive surgery for them. Not that ICLs aren't good, it's just that corneal laser refractive surgery, LASIK and SMILE, are so safe that there's really nothing that compete with them. So if someone's minus three and they're suitable for LASIK or SMILE, that's the procedure we want to go to because there's nothing else that is as safe. However, there are safety limits to corneal laser refractive surgery. We're removing tissue from a structure that's only half a millimeter thick. And so there's a limit to how much you can do that. If the cornea is thinner than average, shows a tendency towards being a little weaker than average, or if it's a very large prescription, then in my opinion, that patient will be better served by implanting a lens, the ICR, rather than removing tissue from a, a vulnerable cornea. And yes, it does mean we've crossed over into performing an intraocular procedure, which does carry a small risk of infection. But that risk is tiny, about one in 10,000. The infections that have been reported in the literature, all the patients have recovered very well, because these patients have their own natural lens sitting behind the lens implant, which acts as a, as a, as a barrier. And the optical quality that these patients achieve is, is excellent. Also, there's hardly any dry eye effect after implanting a contact lens because it's such a tiny incision and we've really left the cornea alone. And so, really in my opinion, the patients with higher prescriptions, so minus 11, minus 12, I mean I've treated up to minus 18, rather than trying to remove really large amounts of tissue from a small structure, adding a lens with minimal effect on dry eye and excellent optical quality and a quick visual recovery can be a really excellent alternative. Do please take our eye surgery self-test. It's fun and moves along nice and quickly, so it won't take much of your time at all. And it will give you an idea of your possible suitability for treatments and hopefully encourage you to take the next step so that we can assess you here at the clinic. If you begin for a consultation with me, we will be able to go into much more depth about the health of your eyes and the ways in which we can improve your vision and improve your quality of life.